Maya Darren is one of the most influential American avant-garde filmmakers. Let's talk film. Hi, my name's Lauren and I'm a film student who wants to share what I'm passionate about with you. As the name indicates, this is a weekly series, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Today, I'll be talking about the Ukrainian-born American experimental filmmaker Maya Darren. She believed the function of film was to create an experience. She was also a choreographer, a dancer, a poet, a theorist, and so much more. She was born Eleonora Darren Kovaskia, I know I definitely butchered that, on April 29th, 1917, and died young, only aged 44, on April 13th, 1961. Her parents shortened their last name to Darren after they emigrated to escape the pogroms. She studied at Syracuse University, NYU, and ultimately Smith College. In the 1930s, she moved to Greenwich Village and joined the European emigre art movement. She was known for her European-styled handmade clothes, her curly wild hair, and her fierce convictions. Maya Darren worked with black and white film and used editing, superimposition, multiple exposures, jump cutting, slow motion, and other camera techniques to really create a place out of space and time. She had a lot of high concepts and her pieces really were works of art and that's what she defined cinema as such. And she filled a theoretical gap for film viewing for the independent films that film societies would watch. Probably her most notable film would be her debut, which was Meshes of the Afternoon from 1943. Her other major films include At Land from 1944, A Study in Choreography for the Camera from 1945, Ritual in Transfigured Time from 1946, and Meditation on Violence from 1948. Meshes of the Afternoon was the first narrative work in the American avant-garde cinema movement and style. It relies on a lot of repetition and motifs, such as a flower, a knife, a key. These things kind of transform in and out of each other. And at first it takes a very long time for the woman's face to be revealed, who was Maya Darren actually. So it kind of gives the idea of just like the woman as a whole versus a specific person. She made it with her then husband, though she tends to get most of the credit. When I learned about Meshes of the Afternoon in my film class, we didn't hear about her husband at all. There was some Freudian interpretation at first with the super you coming in as they go from the first person to the third person camera angles, which Darren did not agree with. So they uh, show she had music composed and was later added to the film in 1959. In 1946, Maya Darren was awarded a Guggenheim Fellowship. She won an award at Cannes and many others for her film, impressive film works, even within her short career. Throughout the 40s and the 50s, Maya Darren attacked Hollywood for its artistic, political, and economic monopoly on the film and cinema industry. She really saw Hollywood as an obstacle to the development of creative fine art films. I would like to end with my favorite quote of Maya Darren. Artistic freedom means the amateur filmmaker is never forced to sacrifice visual drama and beauty to a stream of words. And that wraps up this video. If you learned something, be sure to give it a nice thumbs up, comment down below questions, feedback, suggestions, literally anything, and be sure to also subscribe so you don't miss my regular Wednesday videos or the next Film Friday. And I will see you next time. Bye.